A more stable peninsula is the destination we're headed towards, especially when the talks go smooth. Many countries, including the U.S., China, Japan, and Russia, have a lot to gain from such developments. Our Kim Bogyan turned to some experts for the different perspectives at play. The date is set. On April 27th, South and North Korea will hold a historic summit, the first of its kind in more than a decade, hoping for progress that can lead to lasting peace on the Korean peninsula. While the majority are happy the two Koreas are making efforts to improve ties through the summit, others are more cautious about the upcoming talks. As the most influential country and a key player in inter-Korean politics, the United States has made it clear that it wants the inter-Korean talks to focus strongly on the complete and irreversible denuclearization of North Korea. A local foreign policy expert says U.S. expectations for a concrete commitment mean that if such conditions are not met, the cycle of escalating tensions will likely begin again. So if there's such a consistency, say like North Korea changes its mind or changes what it says in between different summits, then that's going to be uh, considered as a bad negative signal by the U.S. administration and then chances that the, even the U.S. DPRK summit might not be realized. So if North Korea fails to deliver on its promises and changes its mind, well, we are going to see the, what we have seen last year. North Korea's biggest ally, China, seems to be supportive of the talks, as it ultimately wants to defend its natural security through the North's denuclearization. China supports stability on the Korean Peninsula. It wants the upcoming talks to be successful under the condition that the influence of Beijing and Washington is well balanced. China would definitely express discontent if Washington's influence on the denuclearization of North Korea gets stronger. Japan is more skeptical. During his meeting with U.S. President Donald Trump this month, Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe is likely to stress the importance of Tokyo being more closely involved in the process. Japan fears being left out of the decision-making process. It wants to play a crucial role in what happens on the Korean Peninsula. So I think Tokyo will continue to stress its contribution to bringing North Korea to the negotiating table, which it claims happened through pressure. Russia, as another ally of North Korea, welcomes any steps towards a more stable Korean peninsula. Since Russia is a major exporter of energy to Japan and South Korea, it will like to avoid anything that disrupts the region. They don't want to see either a collapse of North Korea or a nuclear North Korea, which could precipitate an aggressive response on the part of the United States or South Korea or Japan. So Russia would like to see a strategic stability and also like to avoid the potential escalation of situation between North Korea and the United States, which could lead to some sort of a military attack by the United States. Kim Mo-gyeon, Arirang News.